What's up guys, it's Jess and first of all, if you can hear the fan in the background, don't mind that. My house doesn't have AC and if I didn't have the fan on me, I would probably be dying of heat. Like I'm not kidding, it's so hot in my house. So yeah, don't mind the noise of the fan. But today I am finally filming a video because I haven't, like I've been wanting to, but I've been busy all week. And I'm going to be filming a back to school tag. So like I'm just going to answer questions about back to school. That's basically how explanatory it is. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so first of all, these aren't my questions. I just found them online on like some blog. Just wanted to say that. But the first question is, do you like school? Um, I don't. Like, I don't hate school, but I don't like it at the same time. I really like seeing my friends and, like, lunchtime and stuff. And I like actually being productive because if it, like, this summer, I literally spent the whole summer in my room, like, on my bed or on my bed, in my bed, actually, and, like, watching Netflix or stuff like that. But when I go to school, I actually can, like, talk to people and do stuff. So I like that part of school, but I don't like the classes. Like, I'm just a person that gets so distracted and lost, and the classes are just, like, really annoying. Unless I actually like the subject, like, I don't mind music and stuff, but classes and homework and stress, I do not like. So that answer is, like, a yes and no. Question number two is... What are you excited and or nervous for this year? Um, I'm excited to see my friends and I'm excited that I'm finally not like the youngest um, people of the school anymore. Like last year I was in grade nine, so now I'm finally like, I'm not the youngest people of the school. And I'm kind of nervous for like, that it gets harder and like, more not intense but I don't know I'm nervous if I like have so much more homework or if the classes are harder and I stress a lot about it because this year I kept procrastinating and I had a really hard time with homework and like book reports and this year I thought I feel like the book reports are more serious so I'm kind of nervous for that. Question three what subjects are you taking? So we only have two choice subjects at my school and the rest like we have to take so I'm not sure if I have these all right I'm just gonna say what I think it is but I'm not sure okay I I think I have math, French, I know I have that for sure, like you have that, you have to take that. I have science, I have gym, I have music, music and like computer and stuff, those are like my choice courses because the computer one I had to take it before I graduated so I just decided to do it now. Um, I also have English, um, I don't know how you say it in English, but FPS, I think it's like social studies or something like that, and I feel like I'm missing one, I think I'm missing one, no, never mind, actually, I think I got them all, because I counted and I'm pretty sure that I have like the 10 or whatever, so yeah, those are my classes this year. Question 4 is, what's your favorite subject? So my favorite subject would probably be music because I really like music but at the same time music always kind of like I'm nervous because I hate taking the test in front of the class like you have to play the test in front of the class and I hate doing that it's literally like a presentation every two weeks and I'm always scared people think I'm like not good enough to be in like music class because I'm going into like advanced music class and I'm so stressed out that people are going to think I'm like not good enough to be there. But music is my favorite subject, like I don't hate going to class when I have music, unlike my other classes. Question 5 is, what is your least favorite subject? My least favorite subject would be history, and from what I think, I don't have history this year, so I'm so glad that I do not have history this year. I think I have it next year, and 12th grade, I'm not sure if I have it in 12th grade, but I know I have it next year. I have like two different types of history classes next year. But if I have to choose in like the classes I do have, I think it would be science. I don't I don't know why, I just don't really like science. Or French, because like I go to a French school, so that's like English schools, English, like all the essays and presentations and stuff like that. I hate doing essays so bad. I was so happy when I was done. So yeah, those are my least favorite classes. Question six is what is your schedule like? So first, if it doesn't change this year, First, I have PAQ, which is, I forget what it stands for, it's like P-A-A-Q, and I forget what it stands for, like, it's some weird definition, but it's just like a, like, before, like, school starts or before classes start, you have, like, 45 minutes to do homework and stuff like that. Then I have first period, and then I have, like, 13 minutes between first and second period, and then I have lunch, 
after lunch I have third period and fourth period once again like the 13 minutes between and then I go home so pretty fun day question seven seven the, um, tips on how to survive a boring lesson so I'm really bad with this because I always I always get so bored in classes unless it's like a class that I don't mind right now or it's not like if the teacher is talking the whole class and I have to just sit down the whole class I will get so bored but my tips are just try to stay focused I know it's really hard like even I don't stay focused I don't think it's even possible staying focused but try to stay focused to the lesson as much as you can and um, if it if the lesson is important, try to take notes and stuff because if you're not listening, then you're probably gonna forget it. So I would suggest taking notes so that you can actually like review it and not forget what the teacher said. And if you just zoned out in the whole class, I don't know, maybe ask a friend to explain it to you. Maybe it'll be less boring when it's a friend explaining it to you in like short details instead of like a one hour class of the teacher explaining it to you. I'm not a pro in this. These are just like my tips. But I don't, like, I get bored too, so just try to stay focused. Question 8. Why am I having a hard time doing it with the fingers? I'm like, okay. I think. Anyways, um, what grade were you in when you first started wearing makeup to school? I don't really remember the exact grade, and by makeup, it's just mascara, and that's still what I wear. Like, I, went, I was in this phase when I wore eyeliner on the bottom. But then I realized that I did not like that on me, so all I wear to school is literally mascara, and it's really easy and really saves time in the mornings. But I know I started in middle school, but I'm not sure which grade. I think it was either 6th or 7th. I'm leaning more towards 7th grade, or the, if it was 6th, it was near the end, so more closer to 7th grade. But like I said, it was not a lot of makeup. Like, if I were you and I was just starting to wear makeup, I would not wear the huge, like, um, eyeshadow and eyeliner and then, like, foundation well like foundation if you have acne and stuff but I wouldn't start the whole makeup look I would just start with something basic like eye uh, mascara or like lipstick or lip gloss I don't know whatever unless you're really good at makeup whatever you feel comfortable with but that's when I started and that's what I was. question nine is where do you like to go shopping for back to school supplies um I like going to Staples and Oh my god, there's a spider on my window. Oh my god, that just freaked me out. Okay, haha. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I like going to Staples. I don't live in the States, so we used to have a Target here, but we don't anymore, so I don't go to Target. But this year, like, in high school, I don't even know what I need for school when I actually get to school and take the classes, and, like, they tell me what I need. So it's kind of sucks, because I used to love going back to school shopping in the summer, and now I have to do it in, like, one week when I actually, when I'm already in school. So it kind of sucks, because all, like, the supplies are gone from like not gone but like all the people everyone already did their shopping so there's not as much like selections on the shelves but those are the stores I usually go to and like the stores that have sales and question stuff. 10 and it's the last question I can actually like use my fingers for which is probably a good thing what are your three non-beauty essentials you have to carry in your backpack I don't have to carry anything in my backpack first of all I don't even have to bring my backpack to class like I can just leave it in my locker all day but I do bring my backpack in everywhere because I know that if I don't I'm gonna forget something in my locker and then I'm gonna have to like leave the class to go get it and I'm just a really forgetful person so I bring my backpack to every class but the three things that are always in it would be a pencil case so that I always have a pencil eraser pens like I keep like everything I need to write with in there so I never forget that I always bring a water bottle because I'm always like you always get thirsty and you don't want to have to keep asking to leave the class to go drink water so I usually well when I can remember I bring a water bottle because that's not something I can leave in there every day you have to like refill it every day and the third thing would be a calculator because I feel like you never know when you're going to need a calculator like sometimes I've needed a calculator in French if I wanted to like add up my notes or something and then I needed it in math I needed it in science so you never know when exactly you're going to need a calculator so that's always in my backpack as well and question 11 the last question is what are your school related goals um I don't know I think one of my goals would be to do like a after school activity or sport I'm really not sporty like I am not a sporty person but me and my friend made a deal that I would join I would try out for a sport and she would try out for like another club that she doesn't usually do because she does a lot of sports so I might try out for badminton I don't even know if I'm gonna yet because I I feel like I'm not gonna make the team I suck at sports like oh my god I'm just horrible at sports but that's one of my goals, but even if I don't make a 
sports team, even just to join an activity or be more, like, do stuff more in school. Because this year, I did, like, nothing. I didn't, well, I, I kind of, I applied for a group, but I never showed up to, like, the meeting because I just decided I didn't want to do it. So this year, I kind of did, like, nothing at school. And I feel like I'm going to regret it when I graduate if I never did any groups or anything or, like, clubs in school. So that's definitely one of my goals and also is to not procrastinate. I usually, I used to put my book reports to the last day. Like I literally read the like a hundred pages the day before it was due. So I'm going to try to not procrastinate as much and read my books. Like have a balanced schedule for when to read my books and pretty much just do good in school and stay social and keep friends and yeah, just stuff like that. Okay, so that was it for my back to school tag. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you aren't already. Sorry if it was kind of boring because it was just like me talking to a camera and answering questions. It's just I didn't have any other video ideas in mind and I wanted to do a back to school video and I don't really have any money and stuff to actually do like back to school lunches and stuff like that like DIY school supplies and I don't even have my school supplies yet so I can't even do a school supplies haul or anything so it really sucks. I'm really like I have no ideas. So sorry if the video was boring, um, but you could follow me on my Twitter and Instagram if you'd like. They're in the description box below. I know I say that in every video, but in case this is the first video you're watching. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in my next video. Bye!